You have used one word which conjures up images going directly back to that period. You've used the word fascism. Mm -hmm. You said, I've tried not to use that word in the past, right. but now you think the time has come to use the word fascism for what is happening in Israel today. I saw first signs of fascism. I still see them. A disease, you know, it's always good to find it early as possible. And the first symptoms are here. But what How more... dare you say that to an Israeli public with all of the collective memory that this country has, and indeed yourself, the son of German and Czech refugees who just managed to escape from Nazism? I see first symptoms. If some of the Israelis were scared to go to demonstrate in this war, and I know so many of them who were physically scared to go, if a leading leader of the Israeli parliament is calling the African asylum seekers cancer, if a leading figure of the Likud party is calling to bring me to court for treason for what I wrote in this war, those are the first symptoms. And my main concern, Stephen, is not that we are fascist. I wrote also in this article, we are not yet there. My main concern is that there is no one to stop fascism here. But you see, to most Israelis, what you are saying is so wrong-headed because you are perversely looking at the wrong end of the problem. Most Israelis would say that if there is a parallel to be made to fascism, it must be made with the ideology, the mindset of the leadership of Hamas. Hamas, an organization which is committed to the elimination of the Jewish state, which wants to establish an Islamic state from the Mediterranean to the Jordan River. That is a, in many Israelis' minds, totalitarian ideology that Israel has to confront. No doubt, no doubt. Hamas is not my cup of tea. I didn't vote for Hamas. But Hamas is, Palest is a Palestinian movement and I am much more concerned about the Israeli society. Israel always was a free, this was one of the strongest assets of Israel, being the only democracy in the Middle East. It was, in my view, a democracy mainly for its Jewish citizens. And in this war, I started to think it's becoming a democracy for its Jewish citizens who think like the majority.